Special shout out to Matthew Hall, Lucky Charms, Rick Hemingway, Charlene Kelly, Yushika Bay, Madlow, Sam Medina and Harrington for your amazing support. To become members, patrons or contributors like them, check out the links in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Simulator Die Darkness Falls Mod. So we're going to be facing the day 63 horde on Warrior Difficulty, Nightmare Speed and 64 Blood Moon Spawn. So yeah guys, I have no idea what this is basically going to hold up against the day 63. Uh, so far we've been lucky and we haven't had like any succubi and stuff like that. But that doesn't mean we're not going to get them. So we have to prepare the base as soon as possible. Um, I still want to get a ton of electric fence posts up and running across the walkway. And perhaps even on top of the roof. So if there's a succubi or two, they get shocked. Technically, I want to still replace the roof itself. A little bit short of breath for some reason. But yeah, uh, the roof on top of us is just concrete. So we won't be able to see if something comes. Like a succubus or whatever. So this is actually a very small room to be standing in. For those of you had missed it, we filled in the floor over here last time. Uh, it's two thick reinforced steel, and then the third level on top. So the, the floor is three blocks deep. Two level, the bottom levels, reinforced steel like that, so it's like 20,000 HP. And then the titanium is 30,000 HP. We did also go and upgrade all of the hatches, right? Yeah, it's time to face this horde. I have my nerdy glass on for some XP. Guys, for those of you wondering, how am I getting... Three rewards from, my, uh, from doing quests for the traders. It's this. Mythic Dino's Shades. It gives you a bonus, a loot bonus, bonus rewards, 25%. So you get three rewards from the trader for uh, doing trader quests. That's a bug. <laughs> okay, let me just quickly do this. I want to go and take the fog away so we can actually see everything nice and clearly over here. I want to make sure this... Oh, uh, my turret's... Of firing over here. I was wondering what's making that noise. Every time the spider jumps by, my turrets try to shoot it. I need to be careful though, if I throw a grenade over here while the spider is jumping like that, it's gonna hit us. Also, we do have... We don't. I thought we might have some recog on us. Did I forget to grab the recog again? It happened last time too, and we couldn't do as much damage as we wanted. Although it might be that I don't have any recog. Guys, I'm really hoping we reach level 110 this round because we do need to see if we can't go into our future class a bit more. To start making shots and stuff in the future class, we need to be level 110. And at the moment, we are level 99, game stage 302. I think at uh, game stage like 600, we start getting more bosses and stuff as well. So we need to make sure we get this done as soon as possible. On the one hand, I regret doing the 50% XP because look how slow we're leveling. And also, look how slow how long it takes to encounter demons. But on the other side, it's so much easier getting stuff done. Also, apparently, Anna's uh, base and the big tech bunker have been changed. You can't build in either anymore. And apparently, for Anna, you have to go through all the quests now and uh, unlock her before you can use the laser workbench. If that is true, that makes so much sense. I, I feel like that's way better as well. I should try this. Where does it hit if I do this? Half strength? Nice, half strength. I want to make sure that the spider doesn't hit in front of me over here. If the spider comes and jumps in front while I'm throwing through, yeah, I'm definitely going to get hit by the explosion. And now that we take uh, damage from our own explosions, ah, uh, yeah, we have to be careful of that. Guys, if you don't want to take damage from your own explosions, when you start a game, go into the extras tab, like the server tab, and say, uh, don't hit friendlies or something like that. Friendly fire on. No, off. Friendly fire off. Basically, uh, that means as it's at season explosion as a friend shooting you and you won't take any damage. Should probably do this as well. I'd be careful not to hit myself with this stuff. Okay, I wonder if I can... No, I'm not going to try and throw the... Um, pulse grenade, because I know I'm going to hit myself with it. I need to make myself the pulse... Uh, a bow or the... A bolt. Yeah, the bolt. There's pulse bolts now instead of just a pulse grenade. Guys, these pulse grenades can really uh, bug out on you. You can accidentally go... If you throw it, sometimes it's bugged and it doesn't want to go where you throw it. Now it, now it went where I threw it. Sometimes it uh, hovers above you and explodes. But if you have a crossbow bolt or an iron... Ooh! Iron arrow or something, that's going to help you way better. Yeah, I'm going to save these. 
There's a ton of zombies and stuff downstairs. We need to be careful of. But yeah, basically, um, if you want to make sure that your own explosions don't do damage to yourself, then make sure you uh, make the pulse um, bolts and arrows and not the pulse grenades. Also, apparently you can make a laser battery and put it on your on your turrets. I want to test whether that's true or not. Because that means the turrets can also kill demons way, way faster. I thought that's only for crossbows and stuff, but someone said you can put it on your turret, so I want to test that out. I don't want to say it is definitely so, because in the past, people have given me tips and tricks and stuff, and then it hasn't been like that. So I don't want to give you guys false information. Maybe do that. Be careful because some of the explosions don't, uh, some of the grenades don't always go off if you throw it. So always make sure you just throw one that uh, goes off after a while so if there was one left downstairs you could chain. Otherwise you're wasting all those grenades. I'm guessing the demons and stuff are going to start showing up after midnight. Unless this is one of those uh, horde nights that are a little bit easier. Sometimes even though it's a high horde night, the horde night itself is way easier for some reason. I'm actually hoping this is one of those. <laughs> Obviously we want the fun, but we don't want the base taking too much damage right after we've made it. Come on. I'm just glad they're pathing properly over here. Remember, we only have this hole over here that can crawl through. All the other blocks are technically like third, uh, three quarter blocks or something, so they're not really going to go through there. Also guys, I'm going to try and use my night vision goggles a bit more. I can put it on my uh, on my hits, uh, my uh, mining helmet or my arm or whatever, and then instead of using uh, this this over here, I can actually just use the uh, the night vision goggles. In darkness falls, the night vision is red, so it's way easier on the eyes as well, which is awesome. Okay, it's midnight, so now there's gonna be behemoths and stuff showing up, right? I don't mind if it's a lackluster horde, but I want to give you uh, guys a show. <laughs> As long as the base itself... Yep, here comes the behemoths. But I feel like still, where's all the broodmothers and all that stuff? Okay, we can loot this. Why not? Oh, now there's a... Ooh, titans, behemoths, galore over here all of a sudden. Now there's broodmothers as well. I need the ones downstairs to explode. I threw a few downstairs, but they're not exploding. Okay, this is where it starts getting dangerous. All these behemoths and stuff over there, they are destroying the hatches, trying to fight for dominance. Technically, now that the behemoths are here, I should start using this gun. This gun is way, way, way more powerful against behemoths and titans and demons and stuff. I need to get the pop first, though. See how fast we can take down a titan. These coil weapons are awesome, but I need to see if I can't start the farm over here as soon as possible. We do have quite a bit of scrap polymer, so I should be able to already make a nice farm. I don't want to throw it too far, so I want to make sure it's like half pull and then throw it. The nice thing is the behemoths are standing on top of each other's heads. Ooh, we need to be careful of that. But yeah, the behemoths are standing on top of each other's heads, so it makes it so much easier um, hitting them because the grenade doesn't easily go over their heads. I technically want to use the thinner poles over here because these thicker ones, it makes it hard to hit them on the backs. Okay, we need a bigger um, magazine for this. I need to see if we can't start making more advanced mags and stuff like that. Make sure all of our tools are fully modded out and everything. And that to have the right mods on there as well. It seems quality of the tool does not add to the damage, it just adds to the amount of mod slots it can use, which makes sense. That and also obviously the durability. The higher the quality, the higher the durability, so it lasts longer. But if you don't have the right mods on, that's what's causing you not to do enough damage to these enemies. On the one hand, I want to actually keep my turrets right behind me and just helping shoot over here. But if you start getting uh, demolishers and stuff, we're going to set them off too much. Okay, now I can throw one of these again. I don't want to waste them. I might be able to use it. Oh, see, the throw on this thing sucks.
So it can chain, nice. I was actually worried about this because it doesn't always look like it can chain very nicely. I don't want to explode in my own face, at least with our titanium armor on, we're not instantly dying from these explosions. But still, we have to be careful. Now that I've worked on the, uh, the shotgun a bit more, it does way more damage. It's definitely way more worth using. Oh crap! Wait, 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 wait. How is he doing that much damage to the titanium? That actually happened more than just one thing hitting that just now, right? Otherwise, that's an insane amount of damage. It was I just not paying attention, and it was um, actually a uh, crop that exploded that? Or was that, was that the titan just now? I'm gonna throw a few of these and then see if I can't chain a lot of them. Oh, that was a massive explosion just now. I'm wondering how many things actually hit downstairs. Oh, okay, heal myself, please. Heal me and mine. Bone, why are you not healing anymore? At least now I think it can, yeah, it can stack at least, but it still takes forever to heal. It's weird that the cursor is outside of the... Look at that. It's, outside, it's to the right of... Or to the left of the marker that you're supposed to be able to see through. It makes you think that you're supposed to sh uh, shoot through this, but it's shooting over here. I just hit the bowling at the back. Oh, no, 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 no. That was close. We could kill way more if we tried. If I threw more pulse grenades, we should be able to make way more pulses now as well, anyways. Now that we have so many, uh, so, so much titanium, we should be able to make our own. I need to see, can we make pulse grenades? I know we can't make the arrows and stuff yet. But what about the grenades themselves? What I need to do... Throw these downstairs. All of these will chain as soon as you shoot them. Oopsie. Now the problem is I need to fire a rocket before those despawn. They don't last that long. Oh, massive explosion. But it doesn't seem like many of them were hit. Or if they were, they didn't take that much damage. I need to see if I can't put some uh, more damage mods on my uh, rocket launcher over here. I don't think it's doing enough damage. It does seem like they actually took out a hatch or two over there. That's bad. Let's see if I can't hit the crops down there. Okay, so we do have the shotgun slot. I want to use the shotgun and the pistol while we out go out looting. I don't really like using it at the moment because I, it's, uh, I, don't, I want to make sure that we save it for later. I want to see if they were to go and destroy... The titanium, uh, would it uh, go back to reinforced steel or break completely? If it goes back to reinforced steel, fine. If it breaks completely, damn. The amount of crops over there hitting this one block above me is insane. I need a defense over there where all of them are standing. I might be able to put some dart traps on both sides of the staircase and then annihilate them with, uh, with dart traps, but that's going to be super expensive. Also put also some turret caps over there. Like you'll make an arm out, go up, and then put turrets over there. But then again, if a uh, demolisher or something explodes over there, it destroys all the traps instantly. The demo can do some serious damage if you're not careful. The fact that we're not getting that much XP means this is actually a very small horde. There's very tough zombies over here, if you look at them. It's insane how many tough zombies are there. But, it's more about quality than quantity, it seems, this horde round. Even though there's so many titans and behemoths and stuff, it's a very, very small amount of them. 
I mean, we're gonna get to a stage where this is gonna be the norm for everything. There's gonna be a whole army of just titans and behemoths and demons and stuff. Master, we are not alone. I need you to make it. As soon as the electric fence posts are here, I'm hoping it slows him down enough so that I can go and focus on, say, for example, a succubus above my head or something. No, no, no. Okay, at least he did damage down there. But I'm hoping that's not too much damage to the floor. The normal demos aren't that bad, guys, but there are mutated demos that are like nukes going off. The amount of damage they do to the blocks is just absolutely nuts. Oh, there's a demon. A demon spider, I just saw it. The problem is that's going to set us alight because we won't be able to kill it fast enough. Where's that spider? It's a normal spy. Oh, it's over there. I can't see it. It's in the crowd, uh, so I can't. I won't be able to kill it that easily. I want to see if I can hit them with a pulse grenade. That also stops their regen. If I can hit them with a pulse grenade, and I can just kill them on a rocket launcher. But I don't think I'm going to be able to kill that spider that easily. Damn it. So we already started to get normal demons as well, the lackeys. This is not the demon bosses, that's already... I think this base is too young. That's a de uh, that demon spider over there. I'm hoping that the demon spider makes it over here. It's going to be easier to kill it when it's right in front of me. Only problem is most of the zombies fall down over here. Even though it is a spider, or a demon spider, but it's a spider, it doesn't really jump like normal spiders. A normal spider would have actually made it up here by now. Oh, another demo. And that one I need to be able to pick up, thank you. No! Don't explode there! Don't explode there! I don't know how much damage they've done to the wall progress, so I need to be careful. I don't know if these demos are normal demos or if they are uh, the, uh, the boss demos. If they're the boss demos, we have a problem. If they're the mutated ones, uh, even if they explode all, explode all the way over there, they're going to do damage to me. That's why I'm trying to be so careful right now. They are insanely OP. It's hard to see the Titan's heads because it's, uh, it's like a mutated... You can actually see it's, it's to the top left that the head is. And that's if they look up. Sometimes they only look down so you can't see the heads. I wonder, was I able to kill that demon or was it still there somewhere? I'm guessing it's still in the crowd over there. Enemy. Okay, I wonder how many of these actually did some serious damage downstairs. It's almost 4 o'clock so this lost rocket. I can't fire too many rockets because they're in the screen. Yep, 4 o'clock. Okay. Now I have to rely on silences. Because the screamers are going to start showing up, so we might have a problem now. I can burn most of them to death. Yeah, that demon's still down there somewhere. If I can run away, is that a... Oh, that's a titan without, le oh, without a leg. If I could actually go down there somehow and face them head on... Lure them away from this base because uh, the screamers are going to start showing up and then we have to clear screamers as well. Oh wow, we, we've gained six levels. You know what I want to do? Let's try this. I think I heard a demon, uh, screamer down there just now. The breathing of one at least. The only problem is, even the turrets shooting like that will attract a uh, screamer if I'm not careful. That demon over there is going to be the problem. Yeah, I wasted some laser tech just now, but at least they're down. My senses have picked up something. What have they picked up? And there's a screamer down there. Okay, so we can use our, uh, our drone over here to stock a uh, little, to put away some of this stuff. 
Okay, health kits will keep on us for now. Damn. Uh, we need way more space. Oh, wait. Some of the stuff can sort. Okay, there's one more slot over there. Okay, we do have a vehicle on us as well. Was the turret... Uh, was the screamer killed? Oh, yeah, dirt. That's not a good thing. Guys, there's a demon stuck in the corner over here. I'm gonna have to go into god mode to be able to kill it. It's stuck underneath the, um... Pit over here somehow. How did you... It's stuck inside the building. Yeah, see the explosions... Okay, I'm gonna have to fill this up in god mode. They uh, they basically blew, uh, blew themselves, ragdoll down here. I hate it when that happens. I'm gonna have to make like a bunker underneath with like a, a ton of turrets. So that if they ragdoll like that, we have a way to deal with them. Okay, so I have my vehicle over here. Let's go and put all of our horde stuff in there. Uh, yeah, we, we can actually just use our pistol if we want to really shoot something right now. So I can do this, do this. We put these glasses on because we're going to be looting now. And then I can put away all of the rest of the stuff for now. Boom, boom, boom. Water, I should probably go and drink quickly. This is all my stuff. I don't want to put uh, the, the, the loot in there. I want to make sure we just put our own stuff in there. But no horde loot from the horde knights. Although we're really going to fill up so much right now, it's insane. If we come across any schematics, we have to go and immediately uh, scrap them. That's going to be the best way to make some space right now. And I'll also need to make myself a container. Uh, I think it's a miner's chest or something. I have to make myself a container to keep some loot over here. At the moment, we're going to be so full and we're going to have to run into the base quickly to drop stuff. And that's bad. Because in that time, the bags can start despawning and we don't want that. You guys, do you know how, how many bags are underground right now? So my goal is to make like a pit or something downstairs, even if, if I have to use bars and stuff, like a, it's almost like a floating base underneath to make sure the structure of here doesn't change. But basically, uh, a lot of the loot is underground right now, just like the zombies were able to ragdoll into a small corner like that. Basically, that can happen with your loot as well. I'm gonna have to go drop stuff. Unfortunately, we are way too full. We just wanna lock one slot. The amount of loot is insane, but the quality of loot is the problem, though. Can I quickly go drop this? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, please, no more screamers. No wandering hordes or anything right now. And I just quickly focus on dropping this, and then we have to go and grab stuff. As soon as I can, we need to make ourselves that container. And then also, where the zombies just uh, dug themselves in, we have to go and see if we can't uh, place some titanium blocks. That's going to be the best I've way to block them. Uh, I want to just make a drop chest. That's gear, there's a horde gear. Okay, for now we're just gonna go drop everything under the horde gear uh, section over here. We'll do the sorting later. For now we want to make sure we go grab stuff before they despawn. But yeah, this horde went way better than I thought. Um, obviously there weren't as many boss levels and stuff. Because like I said, we're soon gonna start getting the demonic bosses. I mean, this horde, we got our first demonic uh, zombie. And that's a prelude. Oh, nice. Now we can make M60s. Yes, I don't have to invest the skill in that. Awesome. For those of you who don't know, um, usually in uh, previous versions of this Darkest Falls, you had to master some classes to unlock certain guns. Like, I think it was Soldier or the M60. But now Kane made it so you can unlock it with skill points. So the fact that I don't have to waste a skill point on that now, because I'm playing on 50% XP, that's going to help us a lot. Okay, but I do need to see if I can't make some laser batteries and stuff. I really do need to start getting some better um, mods on my gear and just make sure we do some way more damage. At least the quality of loot, oh, the, the kind of loot is good. The quality is not that great. I'm hoping we get way more M60s because I want to uh, make sure mine's at level 80. I couldn't craft an M60 because I didn't have the skill points. So the fact that we just got the schematics is really going to help me. Now I wonder, should I make the floor three thick and then underneath go and place the um, the room that I want to grab all the loot in, the, the pits that's going to capture all the loot? Or should I go a little bit deeper? The problem is that as soon as I make it through the floor, uh, the explosions are going to ragdoll them, so I just don't want demons landing down there. Although if we can just have some turrets and stuff trained on them, that should be fine. Damn, we need space. We need space desperately. 
At least the Screamer seems to have been killed instantly by my turret severe. Because she was in the area and then all of a sudden she wasn't anymore, so it had to have been one of the turrets. I'm hoping we've got a ton of these skill notes because we can make some generic notes and more skill points. Uh, we already know that one. I need to pick up all of the corpses over here so we don't have to worry about heat map. Come on. Oh, they didn't destroy any of the hatches this time. That's surprising. Last time they destroyed so many hatches. This time around they barely touched them. I wonder if the design is a little bit different than previously or what's going on. But yeah, guys, basically what I need to do now is somewhere over here. I need to be able to access it as well. So it might be inside the tower or something. I need to make a ladder going down. And then underneath the three layer floor over here. Oh, they did slight damage, but they didn't really get inside. There's no other way for those uh, two spiders to have got, uh, got underneath there except for the explosion. So what I now need to do is, because there is more loot underground. Oh, I should probably turn that off. Uh, there is more loot underneath this uh, underneath the floor over here, guys. In between the dirt and the floor, loot gets stuck. So if I can go down and make the floor, uh, say, a fourth block, or, or just leave like a room of three. Uh, so I go underneath the three uh, steel blocks. I go and dig th uh, three blocks down. So there's a cavern of three of a, a three high block underneath. And then I just go and use uh, uh, bars to make sure that the loot falls through. We'll be able to go and loot all of that. And um, yeah, I just need to make sure because the structural integrity might wane as soon as I start digging underneath. But as long as I go and I place bars and stuff to hold the uh, integrity, that should be fine. But what I'm going to have to do then is make like a whole firing squad of turrets down there. So that if a behemoth or a demon or something gets uh, sent down there, the turrets will annihilate it. That's the only way I can think of doing this because there is definitely loot underneath the floor. Just like how they managed to squeeze through a corner over here. I think what happened is a cop exploded over here or there was an explosion from grenades. It made just enough damage to the dirt underneath. And then they will manage to get blown or ragdolled into that uh, cavern that they made. Wait, the amount of damage over here is not slight. This is a lot of, but they were only coming from this one side. What I actually want to do is I want to keep this like this. And then just add another staircase on this side. So it has to be a block, staircase, staircase, block. Because when I do that, they usually don't go for this. I do want to put a ladder over here so they're not as likely to go for this. But I'm afraid if I put a ladder here, it's going to interfere with this. And they're going to stand on the ladder and hit this, this block over here. I mean, already, look at this. This is bad. I need to go and put really, really thin poles over here to reinforce this floor. Just so it keeps the structural integrity up. Okay, now I need to go and quickly... Where's my... Sword? Well, we do have this knife. We can actually just do it with a knife quickly. I need to quickly go and pick up all these corpses over here because I don't like the corpses over here calling in more screamers. For those of you new to 7 um, any activity on the map, whether it's building, upgrading, wrenching, uh, killing zombies, clearing places, mining, everything adds to the heat map. It's a system devised, uh, it's, like a, uh, it's like a thermometer. The higher the heat map gets, uh, the worse it gets, like the hotter it gets. But in this case, the more screamers start showing up. If the heat map is too high, you'll constantly get screamers. That's why if you have forges running, that increases the heat map like crazy. Uh, if you have forges and stuff running, then the uh, screamers start showing up a lot. I know for those of you guys that have played the game for a while, you know all of this. But there are people new to the game that are not aware of this yet. Or might not have heard of this yet. Yeah, that was fast enough. 523 bones. Damn. Okay, so what I need to do is figure out another way for the zombies to get up there as well. The stairs are taking damage because they're not climbing the ladder. Well, there's no ladders to climb. So what I want to do is it's a shame there's no titanium hatches as well. I need to reinforce these, uh, even if I put like a thin pole, thin pole, thin pole. Yeah, one, two, three. And over here as well, that's going to help with the structure a bit. I need to make sure that everything is helping. As soon as a few blocks go, we don't want the zombies coming for our pillar. But this thing took a ton of damage. I'm actually surprised at how much damage this took. Damn. It doesn't seem... Uh, yeah, since this block is missing, I'm guessing as soon as the titanium breaks, it breaks. Although, then again, I didn't see when it broke, so I didn't see whether it turns into reinforced steel or not. We have so, still so much work to do over here. I am actually regretting the fact that I used the fire department over here as a base. I mean, the, the walkway itself works wonders. But I'm going to have to think about something else over here. Either make it a little bit thicker and then make a, a pillar going down into the floor. Like I said, what I need to do now is I need to go mining. Uh, I need to mine out this whole area. Um, 
Yeah, let's go all the way. No, 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 no. Let's do just underneath the stairs. This area that's already titanium. This is where you're going to make the pit. So underneath all the stairs over here to here. And over here to here. And from there to there. Underneath the stairs and everything. Um, un Under the three blocks underneath the stairs, we have to go and make a pit of three deep. It's going to be a lot of work. It's going to uh, be actually a lot of hard work. Uh, but at least we'll be able to go down there after Horde Night and grab all the loot that fall that's fallen through the world. Because like I said, guys, that happens a lot. And food. We don't need food or water right now. But at least we've got some nice food. So that's awesome. Uh, Yeah, well, now we have to go and drop all of this stuff. That is where it gets a little bit tricky because there's so much to drop. I should probably see if I can't. Yeah, I, I need to go in this box over here. And say stack what's already stacked. That way I can go and uh, easily drop stuff. Otherwise I'm going to have to go to the container multiple times just to be able to drop all of this. I am going to have to go and make more space as you guys can see. Um, let's put the turrets. Laser blades and stuff in their own... Uh, and the, uh, the legendary items in their own boxes. Titanium as well. That way we can actually get some more, more space going over here. It's already out of the box. We can put it over here for now. I'm going to have to remember that all of this stuff is here because I easily forget these things. Also, I need to use the plasma baton above the Lucille bat because this counts as a bat. It counts as melee. Remember, we have to get our melee higher so we can get the crowbar maxed. That's a nice way to do it. You guys are giving me the comments and I didn't even think about that. We have the bat, but I never, almost never use it. Okay, so, uh, armor. Drop that. And now we just go again and say everything I can stack, go over. We'll take the armor for now because that's going to be easy enough to drop. I think any normal... Oh! I was about to say any scrap uh, items you scrap, but that's not scrap. That's a legendary item. Those of you new to the game, leg Oh, is that a spare uh, pair of glasses? Yeah, that's a spare one. Nice. But yeah, um, there are legendary items like uh, the Black Sky or Jason's Machete or there was another one just now. It's just like laser blades that stop um, demons from uh, regening. Okay, now I just have to put all this stuff away quickly. Okay, everything's been put away. I have been making some ammo over here, so now we have more stacks. I'm actually going to put a few stacks away for now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep four on me. I don't want my inventory to being too full of here at the moment. So we'll go and do this, and then drop this over here. Make sure that stack is full. Do this. Okay, so we only have this gun. We have the laser gun, just in case we want to help the turrets out. I do want to see if we can't make the uh, laser battery and put it on these. If we can, that's going to be a massive game changer. Then we don't have to worry at all. Okay, wrenches, healing. I can put the healing with the food for now. That over there. Food and water goes together. And then this goes over here. Now that we have that, we don't need the wood on us. We can actually use the wood as a fuel source. Uh, What do we need fuel for? Everything over here is automatic. We don't need any fuel. Oh no, for the chem station we might need some fuel. Well, I'm going to put it away though. Um, when we're stacking up against the building, these frames are uh, useful, but at the moment, it's not going to help us that much. So I want to make sure we have enough. I want to make sure my turrets are also completely reloaded, and then we're just going to take this much with us. The rest can actually go with Horde gear for now. And then, since we have food over here, I'm, not th I'm thinking of not taking that with us. Although, this gives you food and water. This only gives you food. So, if I go and drop... I, I need to actually technically drop this and keep this, because that's going to fill us up with water. I do need more water, though. Um, this gives you 50 water in case you were burnt. I need to make sure to actually uh, take normal water with me. Where can I find that? I need murky water, basically. A massive stack of murky water. I have 49 jars. Basically, what that's going to help is I need to put it on my belt. And if we get, uh, fight demonic zombies and they spew vomit at us, we can just drink that or throw that on us and it's going to set out the fire. And if we then need to drink, we can actually just drink the orange juice. Okay. So we already did all the sorting. We faced the horde, did all the cleanup. Uh, make sure that we just quickly really refill this over here. Come on. Oh, it's full. Okay, so if you guys like this episode, please like, share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave them below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please don't hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Darkness Falls fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members, patrons, and contributors for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or check out the links in the description down below.